Howdy guys, it's Luke at Luke's APS and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own Mod Podge. First fucking try! So yes, this video is going to show you how to make a cheap alternative to Mod Podge. Um, I love Mod Podge and I have used a lot of it in the past. For a while I have been making my own versions of it but because I've been buying off the shelf arts and craft supplies it's not been that much cheaper so I've just not documented it. Now I'm making a version with trade goods it's making it considerably cheaper. I'm not saying that it's a direct copy for legal reasons I'm just saying it works in my eyes for what I need as good and yeah it's got many uses so I thought I'd document it alright guys so let's get the camera down and let's get it making it catch you in a bit right so get yourself a receptacle um, and then or a jam jar just something to put this in where you can seal it um, or get something from the kitchen just don't tell your mum Get the lid off your uh, Ron Sil varnish. Um, if you want to see what this is, I mean, it's more like an acrylic medium. I have done a video in depth about more what I use it for and everything else. That'll be in the top right-hand corner. So once you've got the lid off, or shall I say, trying to get the lid off, uh, and you've had a good celebratory dance and swear, because it did take around five minutes to get the lid off. It's that sticky, this stuff. It's, it's, it's too good. Decant out your Mod Podge or uh, your, your Ron Sill into a cup. The reason I'm just decanting the, uh, the Mod Podge is as a comparison. As you can see, the Ron Sill itself is actually thicker than the Mod Podge to start with. Okay. I pour in a decent amount, and what I do then with the PVA glue is match that amount. So 50 50 glue and PVA glue. Now, the PVA glue that I'm using is. Um, it's like a trade PVA glue, it's a really high grade PVA glue. Um, so this is a lot thicker than most on the market. Um, so when you're putting this in, this will make your version a hell of a lot thicker than Mod Podge. Okay, now you can use it like that if you wish, um, but make sure you give it a good stir. If you're wanting to make it a bit more, e a bit thinner and a bit easier to paint on and everything, just add some water guys, okay? Um, and that, I mean, that's how thick this is. It's very thick. Um, so just add a drop of water, just a splash though, because it does thin down very quickly um, because there is a form of flow aid in the Ronsil. Once you've got that down to like the thinness that you want, um, just, you know, just get a check, make sure it's the viscosity that you need. Now I've decanted a small amount of each uh, into another cup because I'm going to add a bit of black paint um, to each one. Now, Black Magic craft swears by this and to be fair i've used this before on foam terrain after watching his video and it does make a massive difference for sealing your foam it's a good primer because you can't use spray cans and stuff as well so with the painting paint it on now the first thing you'll see different when you're doing it is your version your homemade version will seem a lot thinner it'll feel easier to paint on should i say okay it'll sort of self level uh, this is because we've used a varnish which has flow aids in which it makes it feel more like paint than a glue now i prefer this because it seems to spread better um but it doesn't feel as thick but trust me it is as strong then what i've done in this video just so you can see um you know, it gives us something to varnish and everything. I'm just giving them a couple of dry brushes um, of a couple of different greys just to, so you can see what the imprint's like. The imprint's just the brick rollers from Green Stuff World. No sponsor. I bought these ones um, because I like them. But anyway, once you've dry brushed them up and you've got them looking like you want, all we've got to do now is varnish them. Now a lot of people use uh, Mod Podge uh, as a varnish uh, over tissue paper or over the finished model or whatever just to give it a really hard coat. Um, so I paint the Mod Podge on as you, as you can see and then I go over to mine. Now again the only difference is uh, mine seems to be going on a lot clearer because obviously I must have more varnish than glue in mine which to me I prefer that it makes it a lot harder and robust but if you want to just adjust your mixture to however you want to use it you can do 
Right, so. Let me. The shimmer on them is roughly the same. Okay, so they're not tr true matte, um, but they're matte enough. Okay, um, that's the Mod Podge version. Forget the quality of the finish of the bricks, it's more the robustness of it, which that's hard enough. And then this version, which is the my version mix, it's as hard and more or less the same. So, yeah, see you at the end. So guys, what do you think? Pop in the comments below, <laughs> alright guys? Now, Mod Podge is a brilliant glue and this is in no way me saying this is how, you, how they manufacture it. It's obviously made to a far better quality than this is. But for me, this is, for what I need, it's as good, okay? Um, it does everything I need it to. It protects everything very well. It's super matte. Um, it's just good for what I need. Now, if you are doing the, the odd hobby piece or, you know, you're doing the, the odd building or something like that, buying Mod Podge, it's not an expensive product, okay? So to buy, like, a, a, a big, decent-sized bottle of it for doing, sealing your foam terrain and stuff, isn't that expensive. It's only when you're talking to somebody like me or you're working, with, somebody's got, like, a really big project coming up and you think you're adding an extra one, two, or three bottles to do one or two projects, it starts eating into the money a little bit. So making an alternative like this will do a decent job, and it saves you a couple of quid. All right, guys, that's what this video is about. So if you like Luke's APS and you want to check out anything that I do in my shop, do check it out below. We offer loads of different scenics from Fox, Static Grasses, even just your normal utilities like super glues, sands, whatever you need. Check it out below, guys. It really helps me out. Okay, so thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll catch you again for the next video. Love, love, love.